Moving faders in Reason 4 is very easy. You just click on a fader and drag it up or down. You can also click anywhere in the fader space and it will jump to that location. If you control click, you'll restore it to its default setting. And if you hold down shift while you move the fader, it'll move much slower so you can get a much more precise setting. Much of this applies to the knobs too. Uh, to rotate a knob you click it and then drag up just like a fader to turn it to the right or drag down to turn it to the left. If you control click it you will restore it to its default setting and if you hold shift down it'll turn much slower so you can get a more precise setting. Another type of control that you're gonna see a lot in Reason is called a multi-mode selector and here we have one on the subtractor basically there's a button on the bottom that toggles between several different modes you just click it to move between them or you can just click on any one of the modes to select it outright numerical displays have a spin control to the right of them you can click that to scroll up and down through the various settings but you can also click directly in the display and slide up or down, drag up or down, and it's just like a fader. Reason also has buttons, and when you click them, an LED will light up to let you know if the button has been selected or not. And let's take a look down in the transport area. If you're going to adjust a numerical value down here, um, you can use the spin controls to the right or you can click directly in the field and adjust it. One thing that's a little different here is you select the increment first. So here I'm doing it by sixteenths, here I'm doing it by beats, here I'm doing it by bars. And you can also double click right in the field and just type in a value. Now, if you want to adjust the speed that knobs respond to the uh, rotation, you can do that in the Preferences menu. You go to Edit, Preferences. It's under the General tab. Uh, mouse knob range. Mine is set to normal, but you can choose precise or very precise. And those will slow down the, the, uh, the normal turning. So you can make more precise settings. And that is everything you need to know about making settings in Reason 4.